This video presents an application to fast registration in 3D using the Kinect as the main sensor. First, we will introduce our generic registration library. Based on this library, we have built a pose tracker of the Kinect. Then, we present results on calibration of position and orientation of a Kinect mounted on a mobile robot. The registration library takes as input a reading point cloud and computes a transformation with respect to the reference one using data filters, a matching step, outlier filters, and an error minimization step. All those modules have generic interfaces which allow us to change an ICP sequence and tune the parameters for every step. This library is interfaced in a ROS node. To demonstrate the flexibility and the performance of the library, we show here the process used to realize a low-level pose tracker. To limit the accumulation of small errors, we use keyframes which change when the estimated overlap is too small. In this example, the tracker was running at 12 Hz while doing frame grabbing and running the Kinect driver. This gives us a way more stable performance, but no outlier filter was used at this stage. After some filter tuning with RAS parameters, we were able to add some flexibility to the tracker. Even with the outlier filter active, we still keep the keyframe change adaptive. This last sequence presents the Kinect hand wave over a desk with computers on it. We can observe that the desk keeps its position while moving the Kinect. The tracker works well in cluttered indoor environments and gives us a cool flashlight effect. Here, we show once more the robustness against dynamic elements. Now we can place the Kinect on a robot and calibrate its position and orientation. This application can be generalized to other robots and environments, as long as they respect the dead zone and the maximal range of the sensor. The motions of the robot can be arbitrary, but results are more robust if different trajectories are applied to it. The node records synchronized motions of the robot and the Kinect. Then, we optimize the parameters to find the transformation between the robot and the sensor. The node directly outputs the line to publish the transformation. Since the robot moves on a plane, we cannot estimate the Z component, but we reach centimeter accuracy on other parameters. In contrast, a Kinect mounted on a robotic arm would lead to full 3D calibration. This calibration package is in preliminary phase, but presents good potential, as shown in those short tests. The code illustrated by this video is openly available on rust.org under the stack ethzasl_mapping. Thanks for watching.